both are both are good looking up for me anyway i know i've got like one altcoin that's bouncing up faster than everything else so i'm keeping an eye on that I'll probably take profits on it and buy some more w pocket wallets down heck yeah oh, what a year Jeez. last few months have been pretty awesome yeah, I'm just hoping we can see a, a fast bounce out from this uh, blow off top that we just saw. I see Bitcoin is starting to fight its way back. Same with ETH. The fucking charts between now recording both look exactly the same these days. All right, well, we'll kick things off here since Jerry's uh, recording and uh, all that gets disseminated out into the community at large. This is uh, our almost uh, end of the year call. We got a couple more left, I think, before it's properly the end of the year. But um, I know that we've got some updates to put out into the community. I do have, I do have a link that I'm going to drop into the chat, and uh, hopefully anybody who's listening to this after the fact can come in and take a look at the chat and see if it's there. Uh, this is the poll that uh, was put out in the community chat um, asking uh, what they would like to see uh, PNF working on from a technology build perspective. So take a look at that and weigh in, and uh, hopefully that will shape some of the things that we're going to see from them from, from the perspective of technical deliverables. Uh, Fred, do you have any uh, Grove updates you want to share out with the community? Um, two quick things. One, we're looking to launch three chains next week. If everything goes according to plan, there should be three new chains. Uh, Op Archival, AVAX Archival, and Radix Mainnet. Um, yeah, so thanks for everybody who's participated in the RFP process for those nodes. Uh, we're glad to be working with the community on getting the bootstrapping done. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with the RFP process from Grove, uh, I'll put the the uh, link to that chat in this chat so you can see that and you can look out for future uh, RFPs. Um, secondly, uh, we just killed Fuse Archival in the Grove portal. Um, we noticed some gaming, uh, pretty much a node runner just pinging themselves uh, and not returning anything either. Um, so we killed that chain. It was only doing about 15k daily relays anyway, so it's, it's peanuts in the grand scheme, but we did take that down off the Grove portal. Gotcha. That's all yeah. I got. I'm glad to see Radix coming on board. I think that's an interesting product that uh, has the potential to be pretty significant uh, in the coming years. Uh, one of the things about it uh, that's, I think, worth taking a look at and, and potentially supporting is the fact that uh, smart contracts in Radix act the way you would expect smart contracts to act. Uh, meaning that the idea of a wallet in uh, ETH and EVM compatible chains is really just an index to look up an address on the main chain, uh, whereas in Radix, wallets have actual possession uh, uh, in the sense of, of coins moving physically from location to location. So cool to see Pocket supporting that, and uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing more about that. Uh, Blade, any Nodies updates to share out with the community? Maybe. No, maybe not. Oh, he's typing. I uh, can't talk right now. Cool. Well, you can drop anything in chat if there's anything we should know about. Uh, Zach, I know that uh, you've got uh, an updated survey and such coming out. You want to talk about uh, PNF updates? Yeah, I got a couple of things. Obviously, tomorrow we have a community call. It's going to be the last one of the year because um, we go into the holidays after that. Uh, we have a couple of different ecosystem people that are going to come talk about what's going on. If anybody here does want some time to talk about what they've done this year or things that they're looking forward to in 2024, um, we'd love to have more people participate in this. So feel free to DM me. Um, we are going to do another NPS survey just at the end of the year here, see how we're doing. Um, and uh, I guess some bigger updates. We have a uh, community dashboard that we're going to launch 
uh, probably end of this week, maybe early next week, but just get some transparency across the board of some of our metrics and the things that we're doing on the back end that maybe aren't so clear or obvious um, to everybody else. So um, we'll do an announcement for that. And then I think the final piece is we do have a couple of uh, end of year uh, votes that we need people to vote on. Um, I think the biggest one is pocket scan. So if you haven't been in the discourse forum, please jump in there, um, read up, leave your thoughts. Um, yeah, there's a there's a good discussion, but I, I'm sitting from this point of view. I think pocket scan is something that we absolutely need to fund uh, through Shannon. And so encourage people to go in and yeah, leave us your thoughts. Help us help us uh, disseminate why it's so important that we keep them funded. And then the other, there's a couple other uh, votes. I just want to do a shout out to the moderators who do a ton of work on the back end. So we're, we're going to move them to the DAO if people vote on that to be funded as core contributors. That way they have more sustained voting and ultimately are responsible to the community versus uh, just my whims, I guess. Um, I think that's everything. Just really excited. It's been an awesome year. I'm, I'm happy that things are on an upswing here as we're going into 2024. Excellent. I am uh, very sad that I won't be able to make it to the call tomorrow. I ended up uh, being triple booked, uh, which uh, uh, I guess everybody decided Thursday at 11 a.m. was when things needed to happen. So, um, Well, we can live stream it for you, Jinx, if you want. <laughs> yeah, I will, uh, I will check the recording afterwards to, uh, to listen to all the updates. Okay. Well, those are the uh, the the main uh, update list from everyone else, uh, or from the the three principals in the group, so to speak. Anybody else have uh, updates, questions, concerns, topics, things they'd like to bring up for conversation? This is y'all's time, so feel free to make it anything at all. <laughs> yeah. I am I am not singing Christmas carols right now. <laughs> I think it's only fair. Can't make meeting tomorrow. You gotta do it today. Oh. I'll be singing along in spirit for tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Sounds like everybody else is all good. If you do have anything you want to pop, now's the time. We'll give it another minute or so. How about you, Jinx? You have any end of year updates? I, I know you have a social channel, some other stuff. No, mostly just uh, you know keeping things rolling with the group at large. Um, I think it's uh, it's been interesting to see how uh, sentiment has changed with some market action uh, and how reactive uh, market sentiment in general can be. Uh, but it's been nice to see uh, a lot of folks who had been quiet for a while coming back out of the woodwork uh, because they're starting to see uh, the progress that's being made and uh, the the growth of the value of the network. Um, so I'm looking forward to to seeing a lot more of that. And uh, that's about it, I suppose.
All right. Well, it seems like uh, everybody else is hunky dory aside from that. So I won't take up any more of y'all's time. We will be running these calls through the end of the year. So we'll see y'all next week. Uh, same time, same channel.